State v. Michael Tolliver, it's case number 15-185, possession of paraphernalia, DWI, left of center. Yes, sir. Judge, it appears Mr. Tolliver appeared in front of Judge Webb last week. Uh, I don't know if this matter has been rescheduled for on a scheduling order. We probably need to do that at this time. Okay. We'll Okay, we, we've issued an order in UNICEF, but it may not have been filed yet or recorded it anyway. Well, let me look. I, I assume it's not, but no. Do you know when, when this next appearance is? Yes, sir. It has a pretrial set for March 24th. Okay. Anything else we need to do? If I could inquire, Mr. Tolliver, Your Honor. You may. Uh, Mike, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Mike, do you have any holds on you right now from any other jurisdictions besides Baxter County for these charges? No. Okay. Do you live here in Baxter County? Yes. And uh, were you incarcerated at some point last year in another jurisdiction? Mm. No, I don't believe so. Uh, I'm sorry. Were were you in jail and you were in were you in jail somewhere earlier this year or last year? No, I've been uh here in Baxter County is all I know. I've been in a hospital in Mercer County. Okay. Um and Judge the, the reason I'm asking Mike is because I'm gonna ask the judge to set a bond for you. It looks like there was an active maybe an active alias warrant issued last year. Um an alias warrant Mike means that you didn't come to court when you were supposed to have. Did you, know, I, did you know about your court dates? No, I, I spent uh, almost three months, I believe, in, in a Marcy hospital, and I got out, and I had one, and I had it postponed by my bondage or whatnot, but I had sold my house in between that time, and it got another one, and I know that I missed the court dates, and that wasn't been a problem. I didn't have a, a, a permanent address or what not to go to, but I stayed in the ICU for mm -hmm. over two months, I believe, in uh, reconstructive surgery and all. I had a serious motorcycle accident. They didn't expect me to live out of it. Okay. But I, I paid all the bonds and everything. I'm not uh, trying to in any way uh, to avoid but I've been out on bonds before. I will come into uh, the court or whatnot. I just didn't have a, a permanent address of well-being or because or, or, my house was sold. I was uh, uh, so much stuff with the motorcycle wreck that I, I really didn't know if I was coming and going at the time. But now I have uh, my sister and friends behind me, and I do have uh, uh, an address uh, here in Mountain Home. Uh, that uh, I don't see me uh, having any problem getting here, but uh, I was so disarranged. I mean, I, I might as well hit a ball at 60 miles an hour. I, okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Mike, we're going to ask the judge this time to set a, a, a new bond for you. Uh, the other one was, sure. was withdrawn previously, but that's what we're going to request at this time, okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you. Tell you what, let me, uh, I'm going to review the file a little more. I'll rule before I leave today with this bond. Thank you. Thank you. It'll be off right now, sir. Thank you. State versus Bobby Morris, 15 72, delivery of controlled substance, unlawful use of a communication device. Your Honor, we have plea offers in this matter. I've gone over them, discussed them with Mr. Morris. This time we're rejecting those offers. We'll leave it as scheduled and we'll prepare for trial. Very well. Thank you, sir. Case 14 217, State versus Jeremy Hiroshio. Theft of property, several counts. Defrauding a steered creditor, several counts. There's some other charges. I won't take the time to go over. I believe it's just a misunderstanding on why I had a failure to appear because uh, court was canceled January 21st. I was there, but the ICE had canceled it. I've showed up to court, you know, 19 to 20 times. I will be there, sir. Do you have a lawyer, sir? 
I haven't been able to contact him or be able to pay him the rest of the funds, so I filled out for a public defender. Okay. Who did you, who did you give the application to, sir? Uh, one of the deputies here up front, sir. Okay. Hey, two, three days ago. I've been held here nine days, sir, on no bond. Okay. And it's caused me to lose my... I was just getting a job with a local dealership. I can keep, you know, I just moved back to uh, my 810 Sanford Lane address from Mountain View to Mountain Home where I've lived for 12 years, sir. And that is where I'll reside till we, till we come to a conclusion on this matter. Just like to be able to go back to work, sir, to keep making money to fix this, sir. What kind of bond you got? Uh, no bond. They told me I had to come. I mean, I mean previously, I misstated that. I paid a uh, eleven thousand dollars. I was on a hundred and fifteen thousand dollar bond, sir. You, you got it. Who was your bond? Uh, Ron. Okay. Trip bar. If they're willing to stay on that bond, I'll allow you to be released. Why don't you check on that? But you need. You made it your application, though, haven't you? Yes, sir. I did. Your Honor. Okay. Well. Uh, if you can have somebody check on where that application's at and let's get you a lawyer and then it's acceptable to me if the triple r is willing to stand did you say triple r is that what you said i believe that was them okay. sir if the original bondsman's willing to stand the bond that would that would suffice okay thank you your honor thank you